Chase Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon at the theaters. We have a movie called Pearl. It is a sequel to X or the prequel to X. So you know what? Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into before buying this ticket. So what did I give that warning? Let's just say the family in front of me, a 12-year-old, a 17-year-old, and the mother went to see Pearl. Even the person behind the counter said, this movie's a little bit graphic, and the mother's like, yeah, I know already. And then I talked to the person at the counter. I'm like, they've probably never seen X, have they? And they're like, nope, I bet you have no idea. Of course, after the theater's done, the mom's like, I don't know why I watched this. It's like, know what you're buying. Anyway, what is Pearl about? Pretty simple premise. This is based off the old lady from X. This is her back in the day in 1918 and how she met her husband who's at war, Howard, and what happens to the parents, sister-in-laws, projectionists, and everything like that. So did I like this movie? It's very different from X. Okay, I say it's very different from X, but it's not really. This is a better movie than X, though, in my opinion. While X was dark and gritty and it's hard to tell what was happening, this was completely polar opposite. This was bright this was shiny this was crazy this was weird and that's the thing this takes the weirdness to the max so with that i will give the positives of the movie first mia goth she plays a part absolutely bonkersly i mean i'll just say it the weirdest is at the very end of the movie where the credits are rolling and she's trying to keep a good smile or just like this for like five minutes straight it's intentionally funny and it completely works. She steals the show completely. Like I said, the atmosphere, I enjoy it. The brightness, the interestingness of it, of this character. Because my God, Pearl is a crazy woman which you don't want to touch at all. And I think the writing is pretty smart with what they're doing today. Pandemic as well as the real influenza pandemic in 1980 as well. There's one good dialogue piece where a guy goes, you can't really tell anyone's faces anymore with the masks on. It's very true. Of like, yeah, I bet you what they're doing with 1918 and what we're doing with 2019 and 2020 were the same type of elements that was occurring for both then and now. And so adding to that, I do think the directing is good. I think the story is good, even though it's, exp- it's weird. It's very weird. This is a very weird movie, how it's filmed. It's very different. It did feel like an old, like, 30s or 40s sitcom. I don't know how to explain it, but it just felt like it was made for a movie audience that was watching a movie in the 30s and 40s. I think that style of filmmaking works. So technically, even the score, Tower Base, is a fantastic job with the score. Cinematography is great. So when going to the negatives, let's just say you need to know what you're getting yourself into because my goodness, it is weird. It is weird. It is weird. And people don't know that when going into this film. You need to see X. That's a weird movie. You need to see Pearl. That's a weird movie. How it's filmed. It's very differently filmed. How it's acted. It's very differently acted. The awkward scenario with the scarecrow. With the projectionist. With the dancing scene. It is odd. And it is not for everyone. However, this oddness I felt just more contained than X. And I enjoyed it. Even though both X and Pearl have had people walk out of the theater. So it's odd. It's weird. But I think the weirdness actually works because, my goodness, Mia Goth steals the show. And if it wasn't for her acting, this wouldn't be such a good show. So overall, Pearl, it's weird. You can call it hip. It's odd. It's odd. It's odd. However, the acting's great. The directing's great. The writing's a little bit weird. But, my goodness, it is a weird story overall. And there's a trilogy now, the X trilogy, Maxine. Max XX the scene. So who knows what this LA 1985 is going to be because it must be the it must be the third one actually because the second one was uh technically the Texas one was 1974. So who knows who this Maxine character is overall. But like I said, you know what you're getting yourself into when going to Pearl. It's 824 High West bonkersness. Please know what you are watching before you buy the ticket to Pearl. So Pearl will receive a 4 out of 5 blue food tons, which equals at 80%. So see the critics news scores gave Pearl. So you have critics at 86% with 91 of them. Audience score 85% with over 50. Here's critics consensus. Pearl finds Ty West squeezing fresh gore out of the world 
he created with X, and once again benefiting from brilliant Mia Goth performance. So this right here, where they show, that is where the very end of the movie goes completely bonkers with the credits. You gotta watch it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, 80, 85, 86, Chase Off with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think it's Blue Topia. You Blue Tonys, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Peace and love. Peace and love to everyone. Forewarn, I'll say it for the 17th time. Know what this movie is about. It's a prequel to X. You've been warned. You've been warned. Thank <laughs> you.